Hello everybody. How are we doing tonight? My name is John Ross. I'm the younger brother of the late Bob Ross. He taught me how to paint. I have my paints today. We're using very red, bright blue, and oh dear, the green ran in, but it's not a mistake. We'll do some things to change that to make things all better. And then we have yellow. We have our water. And again, like always, we're using a slightly less than traditional paintbrush for this. I have already prepared the the paper that we're going to paint. So let's go ahead and zoom in on that, shall we? So zoom in on that. Cameraman's off today, so I apologize for that. Let me go ahead and take care of this right here real quick. Prop this up. And I think we'll be fine like that as we are. So I have already prepared the paper as you can see. So the first thing that we shall be doing today is first we're going to angle this up just a bit more. And if you do come to the camp we're having, you'll learn how to paint just like this. So here we go, shall we? So first, we're going to start off with a nice blue sky. So we shall paint in a zigzag pattern across the horizon of the sky. Sometimes you have to get a little bit more paint to get it to go across, but that will be okay. That's looking pretty good there. Now I'm going to leave this part blank here as I rinse my brush in some water. And in this corner right here, let's put Mr. Sun. So we'll put a happy sun right there using circular motions. The sun is not exactly a perfect spear, but it's okay. So there's the sun. We have a big line going through it, but that will not be a problem. So next, the key portion I left blank here of what you really want to put in there, and that's going to pick up some of my minty green paint that I have here on the brush. Get it nice and in there. Add a little bit of ultra white in there to get the right shade that we're trying to get here. And then what we'll do is we'll paint a line here. And then we'll paint another line like so. And another line here. And a line here. Diagonal line there. Diagonal line there. And another line about right there and then we'll bring another line here to make our box isn't that a lovely box so then we'll just fill in with our squiggly wiggly lines again like we've been doing there's the front of our box and then we'll come over here put some paint in the side and then let me go ahead and rinse the brush real quick. Because you can never do anything with your brush when it is really, really dirty. So we shall clean the brush again. See, the brush is, is relatively clean. Doesn't have to be perfectly clean. You can do this with other stuff. And I had forgot to bring black. So we'll go ahead and come in here with the blue. You can always substitute other colors if you need to. So we shall put a blue line here, a blue line here, 
another one here, and then bring it across the bottom like so. And then we'll put another blue line across here. And then another line here, and then like so. That's looking pretty good, I would say. This is one of the crafts we're going to show the kids how to do at camp. Camp Poopadookie. If you haven't made your reservations, you want to get in because it is closing up very, very quickly. It is a desirable place to be. People come from miles around to come to the camp. Okay, there we go. Next, you see what I'm doing there? You, do, you, do you recognize what this green box could possibly be? You know what it is? It's a dumpster. That's right, we painted a dumpster with a nice blue sky and a nice cherry sun. But you know what we're missing from this? We're missing the fire coming out of the dumpster. Because everybody likes a good dumpster fire. Get that in there, a little bit of red. Ooh, look at those flames coming out of there like so. Ooh, look at that. Flames. Use squiggly motions. We'll come back in with some more. Let's rinse this first. Let's go ahead and rinse this. Come back in with the yellow. Tap, 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 side to side, and then we'll go ahead and blend it all together. That's looking pretty good. I think it needs a little bit more yellow here and there, because you know flames aren't exactly the same the way they look. And I think that's looking looking pretty good there. I know Bob would would do a better job, but unfortunately he's not with us. And let the dumpster flyer blaze into the heavens, shall we? Blaze away into the heavens and blaze to the side and blaze away. That's looking like a pretty good dumpster fire, don't you think? Let's, what should we do with the red? We'll just leave the red running down because that is like the blood of our enemies. So we shall add some more yellow in here. There we go. That's looking more fire-like. And then we come in here with the back side of the brush and we show detail. Again, there's the steam coming off the fire there. That's, that's looking pretty good right there. But there seems to be something missing. I know what's missing. We need a stick. And then on the end of our stick here, again this is very unorthodox ways of painting, on the end of our stick we'll put a marshmallow right there on the end of our stick, ready to roast on the dumpster fire. See the marshmallow there? Great in detail, all nice and shiny. On the stick, just ready to be picked up and placed into the midst of the dumpster fire. So that concludes our painting demonstration for this evening. I hope everybody has a wonderful and swell day. Again, we'll see you soon at camp.